In this section, we're going to talk about the uh, chart option in CFD Post software. Uh, of course, it is one of the most important and practical options in here. Uh, and we can extract the data on uh, different lines or uh, surfaces or planes or anything else. Uh, and uh, use the chart in our uh, article or report or anywhere we need that. So uh, I've just uh, already uh, imported the data files of a project called SR-71 Blackbird. And as you can see the aircraft, uh, I just, uh, let's just show it. And uh, what I'm gonna do is to uh, draw some lines and uh, check the uh, pressure on them and then uh, create a plot or let's say chart uh, from the data. So, at the initial step I need to just create the lines so uh, I get to location tab and then click on line in order to create the line one and uh, the software asks for the coordination of the first point and the end point so uh, in x direction I just uh, need to start from the zero and uh, for its height I've got two and uh, for the uh, Z coordination, I prefer to use something like 1. And for the last point, I want to uh, extend the line to the last point in X direction. Uh, the height would be the same and the Z coordination would be the same. And you can see right now that uh, it, it has uh, 10 samples on that line. So as I click on apply button, you can see the line. Uh, which shown here and uh, just like this I'm gonna create another line called uh, line 2 and for the coordination I just need to change the Z uh, value so let me do that and uh, this has 10 samples again alright this, uh, this is the other line and now I can just click on uh, chart option at the bottom at the upper toolbar as you can see here so as I click on that the software just like always ask for the uh, name of the chart I uh, remain the uh, chart one and as you can see in the options in the general settings we've got uh, four different uh, kinds of chart but uh, of course uh, the XY line and XY a scatter is the most uh, practical ones and the rest of them I've never seen uh, to be used so let's just start from the XY line as you can see here uh, we can display the title of the chart or not for example I wanna call this the SR71 uh, pressure for example so as I click on apply uh, okay the software uh, says that we are missing the other options I mean the location the uh, many other options so I just apply that just to show you the title uh, it is on the top of the chart and uh, as you can see here uh, I get to the data series tab and in here we've just got series one which is dedicated to the chart one and uh, I can also change the name of it uh, let's see for example line one pressure it is just a name and in the data source you can see these uh, options location file and monitor data uh, the location simply asks for the location of the data of course all of them uh, are located on line one but uh, if I have the coordination of the line uh, in a text file I can click on file and then the software uh, gives us the browse option in order to just like that you can see that uh, it's uh, looking for, for uh, CSV file which is a uh, kind of uh, data files of the Excel Microsoft Excel I mean so uh, let's get back to the location and by now I just used line 1 and get to the x-axis tab so as you can see uh, first of all software is for the variable uh, on the x-axis uh, I wanna uh, plot the let's see the coordination I wanna plot the x-direction uh, so 
what I'm gonna do is to just uh, find it in the variables list so you can see that we've got different variables here but uh, at the bottom I've got uh, the three main coordination uh, by now we are using the X just like this and uh, as you can see here we've got a box here to be checked uh, and as it can uh, as you uh, check it the software uses the absolute value of the data points uh, I mean uh, for example maybe the pressure got the negative value so uh, but the software takes and uh, takes the absolute value but uh, for the X coordination we don't wanna uh, let's just say don't wanna use the absolute and uh, there may be uh, negative coordination in the X direction so I don't wanna use that and in the axis range parts you can see that by default the software determine the uh, ranges automatically but uh, if you want uh, uh, let's say a specific range for the plot you can just uncheck that and define the minimum and maximum value of the uh, range so by just mm, by now just uh, use the determine uh, ranges automatically option and let me just get to the next tab and have the pressure so I can have an uh, initial uh, plot and we can uh, explain uh, the details on that okay uh, we've got two more options here uh, we can invert the axis by now you can see that it starts from the zero and last to the seven by using the invert the axis would be inverted and uh, it starts from the seven and last to the zero all right another option is the logarithmic scale uh, by now you can see that uh, it is not logarithmic but if I apply that it would turn to a logarithmic scale all right in the next part we've got axis number formatting uh, let's just uncheck that so we can change the precision uh, we've got uh, different types a fixed type and the scientific of course by using fixed type there wouldn't be uh, any let's say uh, a specific a specific precision but uh, as I use this specific I can define the precision for example by now it shows us uh, three precision but I can decrease that to one and this is what is going to happen so I get back to the default and at last you can define the uh, axis label of course it is dedicated to x-axis so uh, as you can now see that it shows the variable I mean the x-axis and also the uh, unit but uh, as you uncheck the use data for axis labels you can ch simply change that for example I just want to show the x and no more units so as I click on apply it would be changed so again I get back to the default and these are the options available for an axis uh, of course in both direction as you get to the y-axis you've got the same options here and uh, just notice that by now I'm plotting the pressure over the lines uh, so let me get to the line display but before that let me just show you something very important uh, as you remember uh, we've just created line one with 10 samples and this is the chart that we've got it uh, consists of 10 different points but uh, if I increase the samples for example to 20 you can see that the plot would be more accurate and by increasing that it would get to a more smooth uh, line so uh, this is the way you can just uh, change the shape of that and uh, by using the higher samples you've got uh, more accurate results okay uh, let me get back to the chart one and uh, then line display in order to continue in here we've got uh, some specific options related to the line display uh, as you can see in the line display part we've got use a series name for legend name of course if there is any legend uh, we can uh, ha we can have different types for it for example for the line style and uh, by now it is just an automatic which shows a continuous line but uh, maybe I wanna uh, change that for example to dash type 
and as I apply that you can see that uh, how it changes so let me just use the dot uh, type or let's say style for that by now and uh, after that we've got automatically generate line color uh, uh, of course uh, it is red by now but uh, I can have different uh, line type here uh, and uh, just don't forget that uh, if you uncheck any kind of uh, options here you can manually define that by now uh, as I said the, uh, the line colored by red but uh, as I uncheck the automatically generate line color uh, software gives us the option to uh, change it manually for example I'm gonna use blue for that and after that the line type uh, it could be lines, bar or steps uh, it totally depends on what you need for the uh, exp uh, for the data and for your post processing and uh, maybe the uh, first of it I mean the line uh, type would be most uh, practical one so I'm gonna use that and you can also apply some symbols on the line for example I wanna have the some of the let's say balls on the uh, line so simply I can get to the symbols section and looking for something like triangle cross or a star even so uh, I'm gonna use diamond for example and here is gonna uh, what you're gonna see and also you can just change the color of it uh, ju just by unchecking the automatic option and define it as the same as the line just like this and uh, by now uh, we don't want to fill the area if I uncheck uncheck that you can see that uh, there wouldn't be any changes uh, because uh, nothing applied yet but uh, I mean the automatic option uh, wouldn't apply something but as you activate a always on option uh, there would it uh, there would be some filling in the area below uh, the chart all right so this is the line display tab and at last we get to the chart display uh, it is some uh, there is some options uh, there are some options related to the chart uh, like legends the, the I mean the fonts the sizes and etc so uh, let's just use the legend here as you can see by now it shows us on the bottom of the chart but uh, I don't want to have that outside the chart I want to put that inside the chart on the top uh, corner so simply I select inside chart and for justification I've got uh, in the X direction I've got right all right and for Y I've got top in order to get uh, get to my desired location just like this I can also uh, change the uh, width and height of that uh, but maybe these are not very practical or maybe you can just simply use that in order to uh, have your best uh, plot so for the sizes I can increase the size of the line you can see um, by now it's on 3 just look at this line as I apply 5 it would get uh, some let's say thicker and also for the symbols uh, I need to use for example uh, bigger symbols on the line just to see them here it is and also for the fonts uh, on anywhere f I mean for uh, for example for the title of the chart for the axis for the legend even you can have different kinds of uh, fonts just uh, it shows you just uh, all the fonts uh, available or let's say installed on your windows and at last as you can see uh, we've got some grids uh, behind the uh, plot and uh, you can simply uncheck uh, the grids in any direction you need but uh, it gets us uh, maybe better view to have uh, a better understanding of the chart and we can uh, very simply extract the result and a specific point it's uh, it is something like the guide for us but uh, as you uh, activate all of them in uh, different direction I mean vertical and horizontal ones uh, you can define the minor and major width for them for example as I increase the major 
you can see that the size would be gets higher and for the minor uh, there wouldn't be any changes right now but uh, it can get uh, you to your best and desired plot for your uh, let's say uh, report so I want to do one more thing and I want to get back to the data series and create another line I mean uh, the plot of the pressure on the line 2 just we've created on the same plot so what I'm gonna do is to get back to the data series and you can see that uh, on the right side of the box we've got uh, three options here and one of them is the new data series as I click on that I can define a new name for it I've got all the uh, options for that again so I call this line 2 pressure and as I click on location I can use the other line location and, and then get to the X axis the variable would be on X and in Y direction it has the pressure variable alright uh, just for initial plot I click on apply and this is the pressure on the other line so let me for example uh, get to the line display uh, define another color for it and also uh, another symbol for it and uh, by just doing that you can uh, have different kinds of uh, data on a single chart uh, I think there isn't any limitation and you can simply click on new and uh, add another one but uh, just um, keep in mind that you can use the file uh, data source option and just uh, let's see uh, just import the uh, data from another excel file into the CFT post software all right uh, we're done with the x file line uh, chart type and uh, we've got uh, another option it may be useful uh, and it is y, x y x scatter so as I click on that you can see that uh, there isn't any changes in the options and we've got the same options here but uh, there is one important uh, difference here and this is the location list as I click on location you can see that uh, in the previous I mean the x y plot uh, we didn't have any extra option except the lines and planes or surfaces that we created first but by using x y scatter because it uses different uh, scatter points in order to have a plot uh, it can use different also boundary conditions so uh, let me just use the aircraft surface uh, I, I have just uh, named it as aircraft in the meshing part of the project in order to define a boundary condition for it in access fluent and now I'm using that uh, in my location list in CFD post software I think it's very a special option uh, which XY scratter option has so uh, what I'm gonna do here is to uh, this time uh, show the pressure uh, on the aircraft surface so just by applying that you can see that and uh, these are the scattered points which shows the pressure on the surface of the uh, aircraft and the x axis is the same it shows the x coordination and in y axis we've got just the uh, pressure so i think we're done with the chart option i hope you've got uh, you've get the uh, all the data you need and you can uh, now uh, use that in your uh, post processing part and in order to use that in your uh, reports or article or anywhere you need to benefit from Master CFT services, including simulation, consultation, and training, visit our website www.mastercft.com and contact us via info at mastercft.com.